Welcome back viewers. Today we have the question if x raised to the power 12 minus 81 raised to the power x is equal to 0, then what will be the value of x? Can be watch to the end as we solve. Solution given is x raised to the power 12 minus 81 raised to the power x equal to 0. First and foremost, I will move minus 81 raised to the power x from the left hand side to the right hand side to get x raised to the power 12 equal to 81 raised to the power x. Next, I want to remove this 12. And to do that, I am going to multiply the power of x by 1 all over 12. And that means x raised to the power 12 multiplied by 1 all over 12 is equal to 81 raised to the power x multiplied by 1 all over 12. Okay? So when I multiply the power of x by the right hand side, I will also do the same to the uh, left hand side. That is both sides of the equation. The powers will be multiplied by 1 all over 12. And when that happens, you can see 12. We cancel out 12 to leave me by the left hand side, which is just x. And by the right hand side, I will have 81 raised to the power of x all over 12. Next, what I want to do now is to remove this x by the right hand side. And to do that, I'm going to also multiply the power of both sides by 1 all over x. And that means I'll have x raised to the power 1 all over x because x is invisibly raised to the power 1. Then multiply by 1 all over x, which will still give me 1 power 1 over x equal to a to 1. Then here I have x all over 12 also multiply by 1 all over x. And in the essence of doing this is to get rid of this x. And you can see with me that x will cancel out x so that I'll be left with it. x raised to the power 1 all over x by the left. And by the right hand side, what I just have is 8 to 1 raised to the power 1 all over 12. Very beautiful. Okay. Moving forward, I want to put this 8 to 1 in index form and preferably in base 3. And that means I'll have x raised to the power 1 all over x is equal to 3 okay raised to the power 4 then multiply by 1 all over 12. see it 1 now is represented as 3 raised to the power 4 because 8 to 1 is the same as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 because 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 and 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 so that 9 multiplied by 9 will give us exactly 8 to 1. So we now put 8 to 1 as 3 raised to the power 4. By exponential law, 4 will multiply by 1 over 12 to give me 4 cancelling out 12 to be 3. What it means is that I'll have x raised to the power 1 over x equal to 3 raised to the power 1 all over 3. Beautiful. At this point, I want you to look very, very well. You will discover with me that we have some similarities here. The bases look alike and the powers also look alike. Okay? We are not going to compare the bases and the powers. So I will compare the base. That means x will be said to be equal to 3. x now is equal to 3. Comparing the bases. Also comparing powers 1 all over x will be equal to 1 all over 3, implying that by cross multiplication, 3 times 1 is 3, and x multiplied by 1 is x. In conclusion, you can now agree with me that the value of x is equal to 3 when we compare the bases. Or, if we go by comparing the powers, the value of x is still equal to 3. Just a quick one, check result, check result. Okay, I am given x raised to the power 2f minus 81 raised to the power x equal to 0. 
And if I then write x raised to the power 12 equal to a to 1 raised to the power x. Now, I will replace the value of x. The value of x is 3, got it? So I write 3 raised to the power 12, is it equal to a to 1 raised to the power 3? Okay? 3 raised to the power 12, is it equal to a to 1? We have already said here that it is the same thing as 3 raised to the power 4, then raised to the power 3. And we agree that the powers can multiply by law of indices. So I have 3 raised to the power x, will this be equal to 4 multiplied by 3 is 12, 3 raised to the power 12. Are they equal? Yes. So this satisfies the given question, implying that the value of x equal to 3 is a true and correct value. Thank you for watching. Do remember to subscribe. Bye for now.